Olive, seriously, what the heck happened here? You've completely messed up mom's flower bed. Wait, what? Look, all I asked you to do was to take care of the weeds in her flower bed, okay? But somehow, you ended up yanking out all her precious flowers. They were supposed to bloom beautifully this year, and now they're all ruined. Mom has put so much effort into making sure those flowers were perfect. Hold on a second. Didn't you tell me to go out and pull all the weeds in her flower bed? That's why I pulled everything you told me to. Huh? Are you seriously trying to blame your own failures on your sister-in-law now? Well, this was my first time helping you with the garden, so you can't get mad at me for not knowing what's what. And up until today, you kept asking me day after day to help you with Mom's flower bed. So it's a bit strange that you're now changing your tune. Honestly, I thought the garden looked fine the way you had worked on it, so I was confused when you wanted me to pull out more plants. But I didn't question you because I assumed you knew what you were doing. Well, I never asked you to pull out all her flowers. And you don't even have any proof that I said that. So stop trying to blame me. What? Do you have any evidence of me telling you to do that? Did you record our conversation and take a video of the situation? Anything that proves I asked you to pull out all of those plants? You have nothing. Yet you're here blaming me for your own mistakes. You're the one trying to blame me for simply following your instructions. And this isn't the first time you've accused me of lying. Olive, you are utterly useless, aren't you? You threw away the kombucha that mom spent years perfecting. And just last month, you got rid of some of her favorite clothes and shoes, right? I only did those things because you asked me to. You told me the kombucha was too old and filled with mold, so you wanted it gone. And as for the clothes and shoes, you said you wanted to declutter mom's closet, and those were the items you wanted me to toss. And do you have evidence of me telling you to do all those things? You did all those without asking me, didn't you? Are you kidding me? You are totally screwed now, Olive. You're supposed to be a good wife to my brother and his family. But all you do is show your hate for our mom. You should have been getting along really well with mom by now. But instead, you totally hate her. I bet you that after all this, she's going to tear you a new one. What? And not only will my mom be on you about all that's happened, but so will my brother. I mean, you've been hating on our own mother-in-law then blaming your sister-in-law for all the terrible things you've done. He's going to find out just how toxic of a wife you are and will probably ask to divorce you. You'd better get started on getting your bags together and then get ready for him to kick you out of the house. Olive, I'd like to talk with you about what happened to the flower bed. Do you have time to talk with me? I am so sorry about what happened today. No matter how it happened, I was the one that pulled all those flowers out. I'll pay for you to get all brand new flowers the next time you go out. You don't have to worry about any of that, all right? We both know that this is all Emma's fault, right? I already know all the details, so you don't have to pay for me to get anything new. What? Emma asked for you to go out and take care of all the plants in that flower bed, right? And she specifically asked for you to clean out the flower bed with my most important flowers, right? Well, listen, Olive, I heard that conversation through my window. You were around there? I heard that you'd gone out with some of your friends for the day. When I was about to leave the house. My friends told me that they'd be a little late, so I didn't have to go just yet. That's why, at the time, I was still in the house waiting for them to get back with me. And while waiting, I was in the room playing with the cats. Is that right? That's why I was able to hear your guys' conversation through the window. I even heard her saying very rude things to you as well. So don't worry. I'm not upset with you at all. But it is a fact that your most important flowers are all gone now. I'm so sorry about that. It's all fine. It's really all fine. I actually wanted for that flower bed to be cleaned out so that I could plant some new ones. So that's why when I overheard what she'd asked of you, I didn't come out and stop you. If anything, you helped me out a ton by doing that. Next time, allow me to take you out to eat as a thank you. No, no, no. You don't have to. Oh, calm down now. I'd really love to take you out. And I mean to do it as an apology as well. To think that my precious daughter-in-law is being picked on that badly by my daughter. She must be so jealous of you being around her brother so much now that she thinks she can get away with what she's done. I'm really sorry for everything Emma's been doing to you. Has Emma always acted like this? 
I heard that she's always been really close to her brother for the longest time now, but I didn't think she'd be this bad. The two of them are a bit distant in age, and that might be why she loves him so much. She's even at the age now where she's saying the only men she wants in her life have to be like her brother. She wants them to be like her brother? I was really hoping when she got to this age, she'd find someone who'd take her eyes off her own brother. But that time has still not come. I think from now on, you should stop coming over to our house to be around her and I. Go ahead and stay back at your place. And take some time to enjoy not having her around you. I'd really like to warn her to stop acting like such a toxic mess. But I'm not sure that would help the situation at this moment. Thank you so much for thinking about me, Sarah. So, while you're away from my house for a while, let's go out once or twice a week for coffee or something. Actually, I've really had an itch to go out to some fancier cafes in town. But at most of those places, all the people that go are really young, and I feel a little self-conscious about someone my age going in there. If I have someone young like you with me, then I'll be a bit more confident. If that's what you want to do, then let's go. I actually really love going to cafes myself. Oh, is that so? Then let's go out the next time you have some time and find a fancy cafe. And as a sorry for my daughter's actions, I'll be the one treating you. Hey, Olive, you can't just run away from me, you freak. Recently, you haven't been coming over to this house at all, have you? I have a lot of things that I want to ask you to come and do, yet you always have had a reason to say no to me. Well, you asking me to come over and help you out is just you wanting to do more awful things to me, right? I'm not going to allow you to do that stuff to me anymore. Stop messing around. You should just shut the hell up and let me pick on you like a good sister-in-law. After all, you got married to my most favorite man in the world, so you deserve to live with a little bit of harm caused to you. Huh? Yet yeah, instead of being picked on all the time, you've been going out with my mom for tea and coffee, right? All while you keep telling me you're too busy to come help me. I'm tired of you leaving me out of everything like that, you idiot. And your mom is the one that told me that when we go out for coffee, just the two of us are fine. If you happen to have any complaints about that, then go to your mom about it. Crap! What the hell has all my work been for? I have worked so hard to get you and my mom to hate each other. And yet here you both are going out with one another still. I've heard this from her as well. You and my brother are still proceeding with the plans to have that wedding. It pisses me off that you and my mom are getting along so well. Well, it just so happens that she and I think a lot alike. She's even been willing to help me with things like decorations for the wedding and what kind of dress I should wear. She really seems to like all the things I do. And that's why I've kind of let her run wild with the preparations for the wedding. That's about half of what we talk about now when we get together. No matter how close you become to my mom, I am not going to allow it. And you having a wedding with my brother is definitely not happening. Are you saying that you're against your brother and I having that wedding? Of course I am. Even now, I hate the fact that he even decided to marry you in the first place. But now you both want to have a wedding? I do not want my brother to be loved by everyone in front of me. You have to understand how much all this hurts me, right? So hurry up and cancel your plans for that whole disgusting event. Really? If you don't cancel that wedding, I'll do everything in my power to stop it myself. And just because you have my mom's love now, doesn't mean you can use her as a way of stopping me either. See what happens? That wedding dress you had all ready for tomorrow is now nothing more than a dangling scraps of fabric. I tore it all up into little pieces and threw it in the trash. Now you have no choice but to cancel the wedding tomorrow. What? What are you talking about? What did you just say to me, Emma? I went into your room and took that dress of yours and destroyed it. I heard my brother talking with you on the phone a little while back. And that's why I learned about where you were keeping your dress for the wedding. So all I had to do was get that key to your place from my brother and make my way inside to ruin that dress. I made sure to do it while you were out of the house and BAM! That- that means you just committed breaking and entering. And the fact that you waited for me to be out of the house. Have you been waiting in front of my place all day long? I have. That's why I woke up this morning around 4 a.m. and then waited outside all day. And when I saw you come running out of there and locking your door behind you, I sprung into action. It's all said and done now, though. As your dress is completely ruined. This is all. 
I can't even comprehend things you're saying anymore. I didn't think things would get this bad. Huh? The reason all this got so bad was because of you, Olive. You deserve every bit of it. And I hope you know that. I told you way before to cancel the wedding you wanted to have with my brother, right? But you totally ignored what I'd asked and continued to work on the plans for your wedding. That's why all of this is happening to you now, you freaking idiot. And so that's why your stupid looking dress is all torn up in the trash now. Now you have no other choice but to cancel that wedding. That dress was your mom's. Huh? I had that dress all put together for her as a surprise. Hearing that you've gone and tore it all up and thrown it out, what am I going to do? Wait a second. Hold on. What do you mean by that was my mom's dress? That was your wedding dress there, right? And that's where you're wrong, Emma. That dress was in my place was a dress that we put together for your mom to wear tomorrow. She's been married for 40 years now, and tomorrow was going to be your brother and my way of celebrating that with her. What? A way of celebrating her? When I was having coffee with her one time, she told me all about it. She told me that she's been married for almost 40 years now and never actually had a wedding. Your mom happened to have your brother just after getting married, and so your parents never had the time to have a wedding after their marriage. I've heard about something like that from her. But how does that have anything to do with your wedding also being about celebrating her marriage? Well, she had been working with us to plan it all out, right? And while doing so, she seemed to want to wear a wedding dress herself since she never had the chance to. We heard that she wanted to have some pictures taken with your dad during our wedding, to sort of have that a feel of being at her own wedding. So when we heard all of that, your brother and I wanted to make the day special for her. And after talking with your brother about it for a bit, we decided we'd have a surprise ready for her. And this year is her 40th anniversary to your dad, right? What? Your mom was so happy to hear that we had things planned out for her and your dad, but she let us know that she was now too old for anything fancy. So she just wanted us to prepare a cheap dress for her. However, we wanted her to feel special about her day. And that's why we went through all these lengths to get her an amazing and expensive dress. Actually, I happen to be really good at working with clothing, so that dress was in part made by me. I had finally finished all the improvements I wanted to make on it and planned to surprise her with it tomorrow. But now you've told me you've ruined that whole dress and tossed it. Uh, no, no, no. I thought, I didn't know anything about that. About you and planning on making the wedding about mom and dad as well? I didn't know that. I didn't even know you knew how to sew. That's not going to make for a good enough excuse. First, you need to apologize to me. Not only did you break into my house, but you ruined the dress I worked so hard on improving. So stop it with any excuses and apologize. Shut up. It's your fault for making me think that was your dress. Huh? Now you listen here. If you had planned on making your wedding about my mom and dad as well to celebrate their marriage, then you tell me about that as well. Something like that should be handled by all my parents' children. Yet you took it upon yourselves to do all of that for them and never told me a thing. It's because you do such terrible things like that, that the dress was ruined. And I told Olive not to tell you a dang thing, Emma. I didn't even want you to be a part of this. So quit your whining and apologize. Uh, is that you, mom? I cannot believe you're my kid. It's the day before their wedding and you've gone and committed a crime and you expected them to come tell you about all of this? If they had, your only reaction would be telling them to leave me alone and cancel their wedding. That's why I asked your brother and Olive not to tell you anything. Because you would have ruined it for all of us, like you've done just now. I wanted that to be a surprise from the newlyweds on their day of celebration. Wait a minute, Mom. Why are you, of all people, using Olive's phone to talk to me? Because I'm with her right now getting coffee. She asked me to come out with her so that we could talk about the wedding one last time before it happens. Her husband is at work all day today, so she wanted to run through all the plans with me instead. So we talked about all that for a bit and have since then been relaxing and drinking coffee together. You guys are together today as well? We were so happy to try this new cafe and you've come and ruined it for all for us. And hearing that you went and ruined that whole dress Olive worked so hard on as a surprise for me? How are you going to take responsibility for this one, Emma? You can ask me anything you want, but I don't care. I just happened to make a small mistake is all. And you said you were too old for expensive dresses, right? That's right. Hence why we bought one worth around $5 online. But Olive has been working so hard on that dress. 
making it look as though it's worth thousands. I've been looking forward to seeing how amazing the dress would look when she was done with it. Five dollars? Huh, I can pay you that all right now. So stop getting so upset with me, mom. Just have Olive get another dress for you and work on sewing it up all over again. Have her get another dress from me and do it all again? You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Do you not have an ounce of knowledge in your head about how freaking difficult it is to sew up a dress to make it look as though it's worth thousands of dollars? I will not allow my own daughter to say such a thoughtless and rude thing like that again. Huh? Olive worked so hard on that dress to make sure it'd be ready in time for me and still look leagues better than when we bought it. There is not another woman in this world as nice as her who'd be willing to do such a hard task. And here you are, hurting that perfect woman. I want you to know that I'll never forgive you for what you did today. You brain-dead child. Brain-dead child? I've already talked to you about this before. I understand that you really like your brother a lot, but that you need to quit it with being so jealous. As his little sister, the best way to show how much you love your brother is to celebrate his marriage to his wife. I told you about that before, right? And you replied by saying you were shocked, but would be willing to celebrate with the rest of us. Well... What the hell was this about then? You lied to me about being a good little sister and hurt your brother's wife's feelings. Uh, um... We don't need liars like you who find joy in ruining family events in our family. I don't even want to see your face anymore. So don't even bother coming back home ever again. You... you don't want me coming back home? Wait... Mom, you should be happy to see that your cute little daughter is so jealous of your son. I do think I messed up by making a mistake and ruining your wedding dress for tomorrow. But come on, Mom. I'm still your cute baby girl. You can't kick me out of the house for something as simple as this. Something as simple as this? Is that what you've just said to me? Well, what about you having Olive pull all my flowers out of that flower bed? And what about you asking her to throw away my kombucha. And what about all my clothes and shoes you had her throw out? Listen here, you. I know about everything you've had Olive do and about how you blamed everything on her for it. That's all a part of why I want you gone. And I'm going to make sure you never come back to me. Ah! Why do you know all of that? This must mean that Olive went and told you, didn't she? That witch needs to learn her place as my brother's wife. She has no right trying to become good friends with you, Mom. Enough. Mom, everything she told you about is all a lie to get you to try and be upset with me. She doesn't even have evidence of me asking her to do all of those things for me, right? That witch just hates you and wants to try to throw me under the bus for it all. I have evidence. She just didn't want to say anything to you about it. I've had a camera up in both the living room and out back by the garden. What? Cameras? Recently, things like that have really taken off on YouTube, where people record their everyday lives and will upload them for some views. So I did just that and put cameras up all over the house. And not just cameras, but microphones too, so that I can also catch good audio. You were able to catch everything on those? I was every single word in action. All of the actions you took against your sister-in-law, Emma. This has to be a joke. The dress that Olive is planning to wear for her wedding is a simple rental. So it was never going to be at her house before the wedding, and she'll have that wedding tomorrow. But you are not allowed to come to that wedding, and we'll make sure security knows that. You can spend the whole day cleaning up all your things at the house and leaving before we get home. It's all your fault. And now I'm getting kicked out of the house because of you. And I won't even be able to come to the wedding today to see my brother in his fancy tuxedo. Why did you even do this to me? I don't know. Maybe you deserve to have all this happen to you. What? What is that attitude? 
You've no right talking to your sister-in-law like that. Well, starting today, I am going to talk to you like this because that's how people have to talk to children that act out. I wanted to become good friends with you since you're my sister-in-law, but I can see you're not old enough yet to understand that. So starting today, I'm going to react to you the way you've been acting towards me in order to give you a taste of your own medicine. Just because you got to have your wedding today doesn't mean you can start acting all tough. I am not going to let you get away with this. So you'd better be prepared for what comes next. Oh, so scary. <laughs> well, then I guess you'll never be able to see me or Olive ever again. <laughs> you will never get to see your brother that you love so much ever again. So good luck dealing with that one. What? I heard all about you from mom. You've been trying so hard to do things behind my back to make you seem like a little angel and my wife like a demon. They never talked to me about any of it because she thought you were just going through a phase. Is this really you, Chris? I'm really happy to see that you love me so much as your brother, but I didn't think that you being so close would cause you to become so toxically jealous of Olive. Therefore, to make sure you never come near her again, you won't be seeing the two of us ever again. We are both going to put a lot of distance between ourselves and you. Wait a minute, Chris. There's no reason for you to even want to run away from me. Oh, come on now, Emma. I can't deal with your crap anymore. You really think I'm going to let you continue to pick on my beautiful wife like that for the rest of time? I think this is the perfect time for us to go our separate ways. So thank you for being such a witch. I don't want you leaving me. I don't want to lose my only brother. Then get your butt over here and apologize to Olive. I want you on your hands and knees apologizing for every single thing you did to her. Can you do that for me? What? Thank you so much for being a close and cute little sister to me. But how things are with you now, you're not cute anymore. And you shouldn't be acting like such a baby. It's actually creepy as hell. And the fact that you still get so jealous that you begin to harm others over me, it's wrong. So very wrong for someone your age. What do you mean wrong? I have loved you ever since I first laid my eyes on you, Chris. And now you're married to someone that isn't me. What's so bad about me being jealous of her? Having you more than I can have you? I'm starting to agree with mom and Olive. You need to find yourself a hobby or something. Then you'll probably forget about me. And maybe even find yourself a man of your own. I can't do that. I've never wanted any hobbies. And that's why I don't have any friends right now. Then I guess your only option is to stay a lonely person forever and die that way. You're never going to be cared for by mom and dad again. And you'll never see Olive or me again either. So go ahead and get started on your life of being forever alone, will you? Chris. You may not have noticed, but I'm very upset with you. When I heard that you wanted to ruin my wedding with Olive by destroying her dress, I just lost it. Have a good one, Emma. I hope someday you'll be able to forget about me and find a man of your own that'll want to be around you. Emma ended up being kicked out of her parents' house, and now she's living in a small apartment by herself in town. But it seems that not having her brother around her anymore has really taken a toll on her. So when she gets home from work, she just sits on the couch staring blankly at her TV that she never switches on. As for Dina, She's told me that she'd really love to have a wedding of her own held in her garden. So right now, we're both working hard on her garden to make it all beautiful for the day. We threw her a wedding here. Even Chris is working with us to make sure things are set up for her big day. And he's even started to call catering companies and helping hands to get the show on the road. And while all that's going on, and I have a day off from the garden, I'll watch Sarah's YouTube channel of her working in her garden while sewing up a new pattern on her next wedding dress.